Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about HPV and women, why protection is critical. Also don't forget to check out the link below, to find out, how to remove ugly warts caused by human papillomavirus. It's fast and painless. Awesome stuff. But back to our topic. When you have sex with a new partner, you're having sex with every partner they ever had sex with, and every partner they had sex with, and on and on. Researchers have uncovered over 35 different types of HPV that infect the genital tract, and of these, at least 15 are known to lead to cervical cancer. The most dangerous strains, number 16, number 18, number 31 and number 45 account for over 70% of all cervical cancers. HPV is also known to cause cancer in the vulva, vagina, anus, head and neck. What is HPV? Genital HPV, human papillomavirus, is the most common sexually transmitted disease and it's believed that up to 70% of women will have come into contact with HPV by the time they're 60 years old. Most women may never show any signs of HPV infection and their immune system fights off the virus. However, for a number of women, certain strains of HPV can lead to genital warts which are a clear indication that she has come into contact with a sexual partner who has HPV. While genital warts can be embarrassing, unsightly and often painful, the strains of HPV that are responsible for this type of infection are different from the strains that can develop into cervical cancer. HPV causes normal cells to become abnormal. These abnormalities can present in the form of genital warts, which often appear within weeks or months of infection. However, it's the strains of HPV that lead to cervical cancer which you need to be most concerned about. These infections can lay dormant in your system for many years and display no signs or symptoms. But over time, the infection alters cells in the cervix and by the time the cancer is detected in HPV women, it can be too late. How to protect yourself against HPV? Every year hundreds of thousands of women die from cervical cancer that is directly linked to HPV. The reason so many women die from this form of cancer is because the symptoms often go undetected for many years. So it's important to do everything you can to protect yourself from the risks associated with HPV. Let's look at some of the steps you can take. 1. A HPV vaccine is available to girls and women between the ages of 9 and 26 which prevents the most common strains of HPV in women. In particular, the vaccine protects women against the strains which can lead to cervical cancer. This vaccine is most effective on women who have had no previous sexual experiences. 2. The most effective HPV treatment is a regular pap smear to test for any abnormal cells in the cervix. If you have the same sexual partner, or you are not sexually active, a pap smear once a year is appropriate. After the age of 30, your medical practitioner may suggest you have a pap smear every 2 or 3 years. If you have a number of sexual partners, it doesn't hurt to have a pap smear every time you start a new relationship. Sure, pap smears are a little uncomfortable, but a few moments of feeling uncomfortable is worth it if the results show abnormal cell development. That wonderful new man you've just met may be the one, but he may also unwittingly be the one who is carrying a HPV infection he isn't aware of, and it's easy to pass that virus on to you. 3. Have a frank and open discussion with new sexual partners. Although it may seem embarrassing, it could save your life. If you have ever had an outbreak of genital warts, this type of infection can't be cured so although you may not have any symptoms, you can easily transmit the virus to your partner. Similarly, he may have been exposed to the virus and not know. 4. Practice safe sex. Although HPV is the most common sexually transmitted disease, it's only one of many, so practicing safe sex by using a condom can help protect you against a number of serious infections. 5. Keep yourself healthy and well. You can reduce the risk of contracting HPV if your immune system is strong enough to fight off the infection. But let's face it, being healthy isn't just about protecting yourself against HPV, it's about protecting yourself from a number of infections that can attack your system if it's not in good shape. HPV and women can be a deadly combination, 
so ensure you read all the information you can about the risks and know how to arm and protect yourself at all times. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.